Playing a wind instrument creates resistance to the natural flow of exhaled breath. This resistance requires breath management for maximum efficiency. If you establish positive muscle memory, your focus will be stronger and easier to maintain. The breath awareness tool, or BAT as we call it, is not a method, it's a tool. Using the bat correctly will help you eliminate tension in the upper tarso while contracting the muscles of the intercostal and diaphragmatic region to produce the proper tonal results. What did you think about using it and what is what has your experience been the last year or so that you've been using it? I feel like it's really helped me make a difference in dynamics and playing out. I think before I started using it, I was just always a little muffled and not really filling up the horn with the sound that I could. But since I've been wearing it, I feel like I can definitely make a difference in the sound and tone quality. How often do you use it? Is this a daily thing or a weekly thing or once a month? When I first got it, I think I was using it pretty much every time I practiced, so daily to weekly depending on the week. Okay. But the past year or so, I think I've used it a little less just because I've come to be a little less reliant on it. But it has taught you the muscle memory that you need to produce the sound that you want. Definitely. That, that you do when you're using it, that you yes. get when you're using it. Well, that's, that's the idea is that you train so that you don't have to wear it, you know, but it makes you aware of what you're doing. Um, do you think you can relax uh, and use it? Yeah, it sort of becomes a habit. You don't even really notice it's there after a while, I think. You just, I don't know, it just sort of improves your tone quality without you even really having to worry about it. I've had students use it in performance, actually, yeah. under underneath their concert uniform or something, and uh, they, I don't want them to get as using it like a crutch, but you can do that. Yeah, it's, it's tempted me a few times. <laughs> you know, uh, you've seen me use it with absolute beginners mm -hmm. after a month, and, and they sound like they've been playing for a year or two. After So it's, the learning curve is hardly there. It's almost instantaneous. Once they, you know, have it on a few minutes, then they can re reproduce that sound too. So that's the good part about it. It's not difficult to use. It's fairly inexpensive, and it works. How would you recommend this if someone was going to ask you about it? What would, what would some of the features be, or how would you recommend this to another student? What would you say? I would say it's really no risk. There's nothing you can lose by using it, really. I mean, even if it doesn't work for you as well as it's worked for some other people, you're still gonna gain tone quality, at least an awareness of how you're breathing and how your dynamic levels are coming across, because you can really feel it in your diaphragm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
Uh, Curtis, what are some of the things that, that you would like to share with us where you think it comes in handy and how often do you use it and what do you think some of the advantages are? A lot of the parts that I play are usually pretty high and they require a lot of breath support. And just using it during a performance when I practice helps me to, to think about it and know to have the proper support so I can get the notes out correctly and sound good while doing it. And usually I use it every time I practice. Um, since I'm in college now, I haven't used it quite as much, but now that I use it again, it's helped me to realize just how important it is and understand that I really should use it more often because it's a great tool. It, with the more air support during technical passages, it really takes the pressure off of your mouth and puts it down where your diaphragm is so you don't pinch as much and it makes it a lot easier just to play it like it's more natural. The notes come out easier. Yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. If you were going to Tell someone about the BAT, the breath awareness tool, or, or try, let's say, show them the features of it. What would some of the things, how would you present this to someone? Well, you know, first of all, I tell them for their stylish good looks, of course, the uh -huh. awareness tool is great. <laughs> but I, really, I think that the best thing to do would just to let them try it on yeah. and explain the different points. Like, you know, it, it covers your diaphragm and it puts pressure on it, so you're forced subconsciously to push against it and keep your breath support up. So it's a great tool for that and then explain all of the advantages that it gives you, like help in the higher register and even in the lower register for slow pieces and technical parts. By relaxing your neck and shoulder muscles, you can inhale without tension, and then by using the bat properly, it will help you to engage the muscles necessary to completely exhale the managed airflow. Please visit our website for additional information and exercises that will help you reach your breath management goals.